I'm Dr. Crowley and welcome to Case of the Day. Today we're going to discuss a revolutionary new treatment for dry eyes called LipaFlow. Also there's another machine attached uh, by the machine uh, called LipaFlow called LipaView. So Tier Science makes two machines. One machine which is LipaView which analyzes the tear film and this is what you see on the TV here. So this is a tear analysis of the outer oily layer or lipid layer to the tear film and this is two different eyes but you can see on this side how the, there's a lot of color in the tear film and this lipid layer is over a hundred microns which is fantastic normal and the other eye is more like 45 or an average of 32 so there's no oil on this side so if we watch It's not going to let me reanalyze it, so we were going to redo it. But we can play the how it captures the tear film. So not only do we um, watch, we watch the blinking. So the blinking, if they don't blink all the way down to the to all the way, then that is in. The, it also is a problem with dry eyes because they don't have a complete blink and spread their tears around. Also, when the upper lid hits the lower lid, the oil glands openings are right here and that causes a release of the oil into the tear film and this actually counts how many partial blinks. So on this side there was three out of nine partial blinks uh, during the time that the machine was testing their tear film. But you can see here where there's a lot better oil layer than this side. So this person has significant amount of dry eyes with a level of 32 and this person has over a hundred. So significant difference between the two. Once we know that someone has this kind of meibomian gland disease, then they're an excellent candidate for the actual lipoflow treatment. So what does the lipoflow treatment do? So it's actually an apparatus that's put inside the eye, and this apparatus goes inside the lower and upper lid and on the outside. On the inside is a heating element that heats up the glands, the meibomian glands, are actually located inside the lid or closer to the inside of the lid and so the heating element heats up to 106 degrees so therefore just like you put butter in a skillet as you heat it it melts so as this heats up to 160 degrees it tries to more liquefy the lipid in those glands so they can now be expressed or cleaned out so the glands will work well again so on the outside of the apparatus is a balloon and so this balloon then pumps up and presses the lid. So it intermittently presses and squeezes on the lid after it's heated the glands up to then try to express or clean the glands out. The, the treatment lasts 12 minutes and it's not uncomfortable. It's very, in fact, very comfortable to have done. And uh, it works very well. In our experience, better than 90% of the people feel they get results, they're happy, their eyes feel better, and their dry eye improves. So this has been a new advancement as far as the treatment of dry eyes. Lipoflow is the only FDA approved treatment for dry eyes due to meibomian gland deficiency or dysfunction. And so uh, if you look at the numbers, approximately 75% of people have meibomian gland disease which is causing their dry eyes. So most of the people that we see are treatable as far as having dry eye con the dry eye condition. We, we uh, also put people on certain uh, other protocols. We have a special teardrop that we use uh, for people who have meibomian gland disease because their oily layer is low. So we have an oily layer containing or lipid containing teardrop. This is the only one that is preservative free on the market. It's, re it's called Retain MGD. We also typically put them on hydro eye uh, supplements which is an omega-6 fatty acid from black currant seed oil and then we put them also on hot compresses to treat the uh, the glands and try to heat them up a little bit. The, treat, the, the hot compresses doesn't work to the extent of the lip of flow but it does give some help especially on a continual basis to try to keep your glands as healthy as we can. Other things that contribute to meibomian gland disease is chronic inflammation of the eyelashes or lids where the lashes go on called blepharitis. So people who have chronic blepharitis 
end up having meibomian gland disease and so that blepharitis needs to be cleared up as well. So that's uh, something we look at too for, with people drives. Do they have blepharitis along with their meibomian gland disease and we have to treat that part in order to keep their eyes doing well long term. So if you have any questions about lip of flow and lip of view and other things we do for dry eyes, you can always contact us through the website. Uh, and if not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.